I recently purchased myself a copy of VTOL VR, which is an awesome military flight simulator game. The only problem with this is, I'm not in the military, and I've never really played any sort of flight simulator game, so I have no idea how any of this works. No way! It landed! This is so cool. Now normally, if you don't know how a game works, you'd watch a YouTube video guide or play the tutorial. But I decided to take this a step further by going through the official US military's fighter pilot training. And when I say official, what I really mean is I found a 10 step wikiHow article on becoming a fighter pilot and I decided that was good enough. How to become a fighter pilot. Yeah, that's good enough. Before I went through my training, I thought it would be a good idea to do a baseline test, just to see where I'm at. I mean, if I can start a jet and fly it without any training, then what's the point of doing all of this anyways? And shout out to Habby147 for the inspiration behind this video. A link to his channel will be in the description. Wow. What the... What am I supposed to do here? Eject. Now that we know I can't start a jet, the first step towards becoming a world-class fighter pilot is to earn a bachelor's degree. And it doesn't say any specific degree that you have to earn, so since I'm already in university right now, we'll just say that this one's as good as done. Step two is to make sure you aren't too tall or too short. Since none of you know how tall I am, you'll never really know if I passed this step for certain, but for the sake of the video, we'll say that I fall within the accepted range. Um. Master caution? No. Okay, there's gotta be a button here that's that turns it on. Oh, this thing. Oh, just gonna put that back down. Step three is to make sure you have good eyesight. I have amazing eyesight and obviously passed this test with flying colors. But just to be certain, I took an online vision test. Twelve. 29. I feel really bad for any colorblind people watching this video right now. Look at that. Amazing vision all across the board. Step four is to enlist in the military. Now, the whole reason why I'm making this video is to become a certified fighter pilot, so I think this video should qualify as my military enlistment. Steps five and six are very similar. It's basically just physical exercise. So, for this, I just did 20 push-ups. And then 20 sit-ups. <sighs> Peak masculinity right here. Peak performance. Step 7 is to do the ASTB test. Now, I have no idea what this test is for, but they're super easy to find online, so I did one. Let's just say that I passed with flying colors. Let's go! Oh, you finished above average? You know what? I think that's good enough. Alright, step 8 out of 10 is where we finally learn how to start the jet. Honestly, we probably could have skipped the first 7 steps and just jumped straight to this, but whatever. So step 8 is 25 hours of flying training and 58 hours of ground-based education. Luckily for me, there seems to be something written at the bottom of the step. It says, if your name is Eggwon, ignore all this and just watch some YouTube videos. Huh, how convenient. So that's exactly what I did. All right, I think I've finished my ground education. I've watched literally every single one of these tutorial videos. And uh, so I think that that part of this training is done. All right, we're down to the last two steps of the article. Step nine is to complete advanced flight training. Now, according to WikiHow, this step can take anywhere between 14 to 49 months and is one of the most intensive programs in the entirety of the US military. Since I don't really have 14 to 49 months to release this video though, I decided that a fair equivalent would be to finally learn how to actually fly the jet, fly it around a little bit, and then land it safely. And thanks to my training in step eight, I was confident in my ability to do this. Once you know what you're doing, starting the jet is actually pretty easy. It's just a matter of hitting the right buttons in the right order. Then all that's left to do is to drive to the runway and take off.
Now where it gets a little bit harder is the landing. Oh shit, I don't have my landing gear. Okay, um, well, uh, you know what? It's close enough. We landed it. Okay, close enough. And finally for the last step, step 10. All you have to do is submit a single scope background investigation. Now, I don't really know what that is or where I'd submit it, but I think the videos I already have on my channel are enough proof for anyone to see that I'm a completely normal <laughs> and sane person. Droid supremacy! Oh, oh, oh. But of course, we couldn't just end it here. I needed to prove that all of these steps had taken me from a normal civilian to a grisly, battle-hardened veteran. And I knew just the mission, Operation Desert Cobra. This mission is one of VTOL's campaign missions, and it would be the first time I would be facing real enemies who can actually shoot back. How would I do? Would I survive? Well, not on the first attempt. Incoming missile, I'm going evasive. Oh my god, a missile's coming for me. <laughs> no way! Am I dead? How do you use these things? But the second attempt, well, I basically spent the entire mission avoiding missiles while my team did all the heavy lifting. Beans on no way! That hit me? Holy... What just happened? Okay, so if I'm not wrong... That... Autopilot disengaged. Missile launch. Flare. Away. Over D. Plot. Over D. Flare. Missile's defeated. Re-engaging. <laughs> Alright, all threats have been eliminated. You managed to save the few precious supplies we have left. Return to base. So there you have it. As it turns out, Following this 10-step wikiHow article on becoming a fighter pilot actually helped me to learn how to play VTOL. Sure, I didn't really do much in the mission, but I managed to survive and I think that's good enough. If you're anything like me and don't plan on ever becoming a fighter pilot or a pilot of any kind in real life, you'll love VTOL. You get to do this thing that people normally train years for in a matter of hours and without the risk of dying. Even if you plan on becoming or you're already a pilot, this game still slaps pretty hard. And with that being said, you've made it to the end of the video. Thank you, random stranger on the internet, for watching my video. I hope it made your day just a little bit brighter. And if it did, maybe you could make my day brighter by liking the video or subscribing. And I just wanted to quickly say thank you. The support on my Breath of the Wild video has been insane. It's at over 31,000 views at the time of recording this, and I've reached 524 subscribers, which is also pretty crazy. There's also so many nice comments, and I've loved reading through them all. So if you're one of those people who left one, or just watched the video at all, thank you. If you haven't seen it already, I'll put a link to it on screen now. Anyways, have a great rest of your day, and hopefully, I'll see you in the next one.